Hello and welcome to English with Jimmy. And today we will talk about hospital and the medical system in general, and lots of medical expressions that we use in uh, uh, when someone goes to see the doctor and or go to the hospital. Okay, um, the system in England, uh, which what which is a system I know, not the American one or the Canadian or Australian one. We call it the national health. Uh, services. National Health Services is supposed to be in England or in the United Kingdom is the best in the world. It's a very successful system. Uh, it gives the best medical treatment uh, anywhere in the world. We have some excellent doctors and nurses and medical staff and technicians, and they um, <clears throat> they provide uh, a fantastic job uh, services to uh, to many of the patients. Okay. Uh, everything is free. Uh, uh, the system is structured uh, starting from the GP, general practitioner, general practitioner, uh, who is a doctor uh, uh, usually in every uh, district or area. There is a, a, a group of doctors uh, working in uh, like uh, a practice, practicing uh, in a general, uh, in a clinic. Okay, and uh, when you don't feel well, you make an appointment and you go to see your doctor. You can see any doctor you want. You just have to uh, make an appointment by the phone. And when you arrive, you tap your name on a screen and you're the doctor you chose from this. Let's say we have like seven, eight, nine, ten doctors there. Okay, you pick any doctor you wanted to make an appointment with and then you tap your name when you arrive and then uh, uh, your name will be called when the doctor is free and you can go and see him in his room. Um, the doctor, the general practitioner will examine you and if he realizes that uh, your condition can be treated uh, with some uh, antibiotics or uh, some uh, simple medications, he will write a prescription for you and you take the prescription and you go to your chemist or your, uh, in America, they call it a drug store, okay, or a pharmacist. And uh, he will uh, like uh, issue you or give you the medication that are written in the prescription. Uh, antibiotics, uh, unlike many countries, you can't just buy them off the counter, like you're buying aspirin or something like that. No, you must have a doctor prescription in order to uh, buy antibiotics. So uh, many uh, uh, drugs and many uh, uh, medications um, you must have a prescription for, okay? The system is very strict uh, when it comes to antibiotics. If your condition is serious and requires more, um, uh, more treatment or uh, a doctor who specializes in it, okay? Uh, a consultant, I mean, so then you will, uh, the GP will refer you to or, or make an appointment for you to see a consultant who is a senior doctor to check you. And if you need uh, an operation, you will receive the operation. Uh, might be a waiting list, but uh, normally it's not that long and you'll have the operation done. The National Health Service works by deducting uh, a portion of the salary of every uh, citizen in Britain who is working, and then that money is being used to treat the sick ones, okay? And uh, it works until now. It's very successful, and many countries are trying to copy that system and uh, hopefully to give uh, a good medical treatment. The system provides opportunities for many doctors from all over the world, okay? The third world countries, uh, uh, the Eastern Bloc, anywhere, uh, staff who are, or doctors who uh, are want to learn or get more experience, they also come to the United Kingdom to learn, okay? Uh, recently, because of the COVID-19 uh, 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 um, uh, pandemic, we, we had a special visa being uh, issued for medical staff because we needed lots of doctors and for the, uh, the doctor, nurses and the technicians, all the people who can work in the hospital in different positions, uh, uh, and especially the senior position, whatever, are always welcome. There is a fast track visa and they are rewarded financially uh, very well uh, and they are offered good jobs in the United Kingdom. Well, I'm not blowing uh, my own trumpet about my country, the United Kingdom, but I am just saying that it, the system is great and uh, uh, it's working very well. 
and it uh, pr protects and saves many lives and uh, helps people who financially can't afford to have expensive, uh, serious operations that uh, require a lot, a lot of money. As I said, when you go to the clinic, okay, or to see the GPs, there's lots of words that you uh, need to uh, learn and uh, body parts, okay, you also need to learn and so on. So uh, let's start here. Uh, prescription. This is uh, what the doctors write to you after he checks you, the GP. He looks at you and he thinks that you are, uh, you need a certain medication, I don't know, antibiotics or whatever. He will be writing prescription. Uh, injection or a shot or sometimes call it a jab uh, because uh, immunization or inoculation or uh, the uh, <clears throat> or the uh, vaccination okay so we call it a jab in uh, in England we call it a jab uh, everyone uh, until now because of the corona um, okay there's lots of uh, you should take about three jabs uh, uh, one after if about like a few months, uh, six months or five months between each each jab to protect yourself from the corona. So injection or shot or jab, okay, J-A-B. Uh, a band-aid, uh, if you cut yourself, you use a band-aid. Stitches, if your cut requires stitches, uh, uh, you're going to have some stitches. The surgeon will, or the nurse will probably do it. A sling, if you've got a broken arm, you put your arm, a broken arm, in a sling, okay? Uh, crutches, you need them if you uh, break a foot and you can't walk and your foot is in a, plus, uh, uh, in a cast, okay? And uh, you need uh, uh, to be able to help something to help you walk without stepping on your foot because it's uh, broken or fractured. Uh, we call them crutch, okay? Crutches. A cast is uh, what the uh, doctor will put your foot in if it's uh, uh, fractured or, uh, or the bones are uh, broken. Diet is uh, normally if you are in hospital and you got to, you're got going to have an operation and you require a certain type of food, there is normally a dietitian or a nutritionist who will uh, write for you what kind of food you should eat depending on your uh, condition. If you are diabetic or if you are overweight or, or things like that, he will control that diet to give you the food that is suitable for your condition, okay? Uh, rest in bed, that's a word that the doctor could be saying to you, okay? Drink fluids, he will ask you to drink lots of fluids, okay? Exercise, you can exercise or take a walk. If you got a, a, a sore throat or inflammation in the throat, you can gargle, gargle, okay? Uh, with uh, uh, some kind of uh, uh, medication, <clears throat> okay, fluid. You buy it from the uh, chemist or the pharmacist. X-ray, if there is, uh, the doctor is suspicious about this, a broken bone in any part of the body, he will ask you to have X-rays. Normally in large hospitals, not in a clinic for the GP, in order so you don't get lost, you'll find that there's uh, uh, lines, different colors on the ground, on the floor. So there's a yellow line, a blue line, a red line, and a black line or a white line. So if you are going to a certain department, they will say to you, follow the yellow line or follow the, black, the red line or the green line or the blue line so you don't get lost in such a vast place in the hospital, okay? Tests, you might need blood tests, you might need the urine test, you might need, I don't know, there's lots of tests uh, people might need before uh, uh, to help the doctor assess your condition and know what you need, okay? Uh, uh, blood test, yes, you do blood test, okay? Uh, surgery, that's if you need like an appendix, for example, or a heart surgery or whatever um, uh, operation you're going to need, we call it a surgery, okay? Uh, <clears throat> uh, physical therapy, you might need a physical therapy like... Uh, 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 some kind of uh, uh, like a, uh, someone, um, a nurse will come or a specialist who, physician who knows uh, which, which part of your body needs exercising in order to make the muscles stronger. Okay. Uh, counseling, counseling at the bottom here. Okay. It, uh, some members of the family or, or, the, or the patient himself might, his condition might require some counseling. Someone uh, some some patient who got serious conditions, they might need someone to uh, to talk to 
in order to give them uh, uh, spiritual support and moral support to, to, to face the conditions they are uh, suffering from. Um, hospital bed, we can see the bed here, okay. It's a special bed where you can move it up and down in the back, okay. Uh, a call button, you have a button, uh, you can press it so the nurse will come to you to, if you need help or assistance, okay. A bed control, you can control the bed with a button to make it lift it up and down for your back, okay, when you are eating or when you are trying to sleep. An IV, it's, uh, you get drops of it, uh, like an injection uh, cannula, they put it in your arm or in your hand where they feed you any kind of solution that you might need. I don't know, uh, it's uh, for people who can't eat probably uh, and they uh, can't swallow and things like that, they get these uh, solutions by the IV connected to their arms and their hands. A hospital gown, yes, uh, it's a special dress you wear uh, when you are in the hospital. It's obviously uh, sterilized or uh, uh, like washed properly and ironed, so there's no germs, no bacteria, nothing to it. Okay, uh, a bed table. So when you're eating, the bed table can be moved uh, to uh, towards you to help you uh, eat while you're eating. Um, a bed uh, pan if you want to urinate, so you don't have to go to the toilet. And if you can't walk to the toilet or whatever, you can uh, urinate, especially for seniors people or people of old age who can't walk, okay? Uh, a medical chart, a medical chart you can see there, that's what the doctor, uh, they follow your temperature, your condition, your medication, what time you're taking your medication. The nurse will fill that chart. So the doctor, when he comes to see you, he knows exactly how you've been, uh, what sort of medication you've been taking and was it on time or not, and your condition and your temperature, blood pressure, and so on, okay? You can see up here the uh, prescription, the jab or the shot, the Band-Aid, the, the, the sling, okay? The uh, crutches and the diet, okay? And the stitches, someone is having stitching because these are all like common uh, things that could happen to you in the hospital. And here are more expressions that uh, we use in a hospital or in a clinic, a doctor or a physician, a nurse, an x-ray technician, that's a technician who does the x-ray, a lab technician, it's a technician in the lab who does uh, uh, analysis for the blood or the blood pressure, uh, EMT, emergency medical technician, okay, a dentist, uh, the doctor who looks after your teeth, all right, an oral hygiene is someone who uh, will advise you on what to use in order to keep your uh, uh, your teeth and your mouth uh, free of uh, bacteria. And then let's have some uh, uh, some some names for the uh, specialist, the doctor, the consultant, and the people who uh, will probably likely to check you in the hospital or look after you. Like obstetrician, obstetrician. Let's repeat it again. Obstetrician. That's a doctor who looks after people who are overweight okay and then gynecologist a gynecologist is a doctor he's he looks after uh, ladies okay uh, or, uh, or females he uh, an, uh, in examine the bodies he knows he's a specialist a specialist in females and uh, 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 pregnant uh, uh, females and so on so obstetrician for people who are suffering from overweight and a gynecologist who looks after Ladies, okay, pediatrician is a doctor, pediatrician, pediatrician, again repeat, obstetrician, gynecologist, and pediatrician. Pediatrician is a doctor for children, uh, cardiologist is a doctor who specializes in uh, uh, heart, okay, heart operations, and so on, okay. Uh, optometrist is a doctor who looks after your eyes, okay, like an optician. Okay, a surgeon is a doctor who uh, carry out uh, surgery in the in the operating theater. Okay, um, <clears throat> optometrist. Okay, and a psychiatrist is a doctor who uh, looks after people who are psychologically suffering from psychological uh, uh, illness or uh, mental uh, instability or uh, or things like that. Um, uh, Examination table, eye chart to test your eyesight, see if you're 2020 or <laughs> you need glasses. A scale, yes, to weigh your body, to stand on it and you, you weigh yourself. X ray machine, yes, that's right. A stethoscope, stethoscope, there you can see it's stethoscope over there, okay. 
That's where you, uh, the doctor will use to listen to your heart beats, heart beats, okay? A thermometer to know your temperature. As a so mo mo just now they have some modern thermometers. You just uh, uh, just direct it towards uh, your forehead and they will know exactly uh, your temperature. Glove or surgical gloves, especially gloves, uh, gloves to, for, in order to protect the body from, uh, so the surgeon doesn't, uh, uh, like this, they are like uh, uh, totally uh, sterilized or they protect the, the, your body from bacteria and infection, things like the gloves, okay? And, uh, and blood pressure gauge, yes, you measure blood pressure. Uh, needle or a syringe, yes, needle or syringe. Uh, um, bandage, yes, if you want to put a bandage, yes, okay. Adhesive tape, yes, you put the tape on the bandage, yes, okay, if you cut or alcohol to uh, sterilize any infection, or cotton balls and drill, okay, and anesthetic, anesthetic, uh, uh, it's what makes you sleep, you, uh, to put you to sleep, okay. I'm going to repeat the difficult words one more time, okay. Obstetrician, doctor for people who are overweight, gynecologist. Okay, pediatrician, gynecologist for females, a doctor for pediatrician, doctor for children. Okay, cardiologist, cardiologist. Okay, optometrist. Okay, try and practice this word, optometrist, surgeon, and psychiatrist. Please remember these words because you could hear the nurse when you arrive at the hospital saying your psychiatrist or your obstetrician or your pediatri uh, pediatrician is going to see you in a minute. Okay, or the pediatrician is going to see your child in a minute. Yes, the mommy is going with the children and one of them is not well. Okay, got a temperature or something like that. A pediatrician, okay, cardiologist, okay, optometrist and surgeon and psychiatrist. These are some of the difficult names for some of the doctors inside the hospital. Okay, good. Uh, ambulance and the paramedics, if you don't feel well, God forbid, and you need some help or a member of the family, whatever you call the ambulance, okay, you dial 911 or call for the ambulance, and then the paramedics will come, they will examine the, the person who is sick, and if it's emergency, urgent, they take him to the hospital in the ambulance, the paramedics, okay. Uh, also, uh, uh, you might need, uh, I don't know, medicine or medication or pills or tablets, okay? They can measure the pulse, okay, another word, okay? Or if the neck is uh, suffering from a problem, they put uh, an, a neck brace, okay? The nurse, these are all words that are used in the medical, okay? You could be sick or ill. Ill is more than sick, okay? It means you're very sick. Injection, you could have suffered from, you go to hospital. If you can't see, uh, you wear glasses, okay? Uh, flossing is to clean your teeth with a floss, okay? A flu or cold, okay? A fever, if you got a temperature. A mask is what you wear if you got an infection. Oh, you're all familiar with that word now because of the corona thing, okay? Uh, medical examination. Um, uh, if you want to some blood transfer or whatever, it's called intravenous, okay? A microscope, a microscope, as it says here. More words here, okay? A doctor, a nurse, a surgeon, a patient, uh, examination, a stethoscope to listen to your heartbeat, an ambulance, okay? Yes, a syringe, a uh, bandage, a uh, blood test, a wheelchair, yes, crutches, if you got a broken foot or... Uh, ankle or whatever, okay, uh, medicine, uh, x-ray, mask, a stretcher, that's what the paramedics, if they are uh, coming in an ambulance to take you to the hospital, they put you on a stretcher, okay, drip or IV, like we said, a bed, uh, a prescription, what the doctor writes for you, okay, and an oxygen mask if you need it, oxygen because you can't breathe. Uh, more stuff. Tablet. This is a tablet and this is a pill, okay, coated with something sugary to make it sweet to swallow. And this is a capsule, okay? They all made, uh, the capsule is made of material that can be absorbed by the body, okay? If you're taking antibiotics or whatever. So remember that, okay? A pill, a tablet, and a capsule. That's the difference between them, okay? Uh, okay, what else? Uh, I don't know. Uh, first aid, yes. Uh, a male nurse, a patient, not a lot here. First aid kit, cotton, uh, okay, scissors, 
girls. Okay, wheelchair. All right. More here uh, 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 items in the hospital like glucose meter. Okay, for people who are diabetic or something like that, probably. Uh, a head mirror. The doctor wears it to uh, reflect the light so he can see clearly. Okay, infusion pump if you ch need to change uh, your blood or something. I don't know. Inhaler for people who are asthmatic. Okay, can't breathe properly. Insulin pen so you know the uh, percentage of the sugar in your blood or whatever. Okay, medical record, uh, medical monitor, uh, medical uh, clamp. Okay, we also have. Uh, a scalpel that some surgeons use it when they do the cutting on the skin with a scalpel. It's like a very, very fine knife to cut the skin. Um, medical boot if you're suffering uh, a broken uh, ankle or something, okay? Uh, adhesive bandage. Uh, oh, wait, i got to bring the photo there. Adhesive bond, uh, bandage, adhesive tape to stick it, uh, alcohol, okay, for anesthetic or for uh, cleaning or, or whatever, killing the germs, and uh, uh, ambulance, okay, antiseptic uh, sticker, so you don't get any uh, any uh, infections. A blood pressure monitor that the doctor uses it to you measure the blood pressure, on, okay, on your arm. A blood bag if you need blood transfusion, uh, bandage, okay. Uh, there's lots of antiseptic Braces, if you need some something for your teeth, correction, things like that. Uh, there's lots of expressions, actually. We mainly like, as you can see, there's lots on, on, on the internet, uh, photos and things like you can see, okay, for like cotton wool, blood pressure scale, I don't know. Uh, we're not getting too deep into the medical side of it. You're not going to be a doctor, okay? Uh, but or a technician, a medical technician or a nurse. We just need to know the basics so that will help you understand your doctor when you communicate with him and uh, know the basic things, all right? Uh, what we need to know now is something about the body because uh, you need to know the, the basic body parts, okay? What, uh, what they are, all right? Like uh, 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 when the doctor says to you, okay, you, uh, you need to... Uh, 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 like uh, uh, any member of your body, if you're complaining about pain in a part of your body, you need to know what that part is called. So that's why we're going to take a quick look, uh, look, look uh, 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 for the uh, uh, on the body parts. Okay, I'm moving fast. I'm sorry, uh, guys. It's just because the time of the video is limited. I'm really over 22 minutes now. Right. Uh, let's talk about the body parts here. Okay. Uh, you can see the chest. The eye, the eyebrow, the cheek, okay, the mouth, the chin, okay, the wrist, the palm, uh, the foot, the toe, the heel, the ankle, the shin, the calf, the thigh, okay, the uh, finger, the thumb, the forearm and the forehead, okay, forearm and the forehead, the ear, the neck, the nose, the lips, okay, the shoulder, okay, uh, uh, the elbow, that's an elbow, yes, okay, and the hand, and the calf, this is called the calf, and the ankle. These are like basic ones. Also here, the abdomen, uh, the stomach, okay, uh, the hip, yes, here's the hip, that part here. Uh, many elderly uh, need hip replacement sometimes when they fall, so it's a very common operation, okay. So these are like basic body body part wrist okay a palm and the wrist okay uh, now we'll talk about the face the part of the face in more details okay uh, the face as you can see we have the uh, the forehead that part is forehead and then we have the pupil in the eye which is uh, the black spot inside the eye is called the pupil okay the iris is a colored part around the pupil okay could be blue, it could be green, it could be brown, okay? The iris and the pupil. Pupil, like the pupil who goes to, uh, to the school, but it is here, me it means the pupil of the eye, okay? Uh, and then we have the eye itself, the nose, here's the nose, okay? A nostril are the two holes in the nose. We call them nostril, nostril. The cheek, you got a cheek, okay? You got cheek, <laughs> okay? Cheek, uh, yes, okay, when you smile, you can see this part's called the cheek. 
the jaw, that's the jaw here, that part here, the bones down here, okay, that part is called the jaw when you speak. The teeth, yes, that you use to uh, like uh, eat with, okay. Uh, the mouth, you got the, uh, yes, the mouth, you got the upper lip and the lower lip. And you got inside the tongue, you can speak with, with the vocal cords as well, tongue, and the neck and the chin. Here's the chin and here's the neck. That's the neck and this is the chin, not shin, chin, put a T before the C, chin. Okay, upper lip, lower lip, uh, earlobe. Earlobe is that little part below the ear. It's called earlobe. And then the ear itself, okay, and here that you got here a cheekbone. Oh, okay, uh, a high cheekbone is a sign of beauty, actually. You always see it in babies, okay? Ear, uh, uh, sorry, eyelashes, eyelashes for the eye, okay? And then we have the temple. That part of the head on that side here and on the other side is called the temple, temple, okay? Sometimes if you get a headache, you can feel it throbbing, like moving, okay? Eyebrow, that's an eyebrow, okay? Eyebrow, okay? And the brow, which is that part here, between the eyebrows up here, okay? So eyebrow, not eyebrow. These are important part of the face. We just went through them quickly. There's lots of uh, idioms as well, guys, that we use body parts. And uh, I made some videos about them, okay? And face parts, too. Uh, you can use them for idioms, okay? In, in other videos, you can watch them. Uh, if I need to repeat them, I might do it again. Uh, to remind most of you and on uh, just like some of them, if I didn't mention all the parts of uh, face parts or body parts. Now we need to talk about the hand itself. If you know the name of your the names of your fingers, okay? Finger. Right, his hand, as you can see, the names of the finger, that little finger, sometimes call it pinky, pinky, P-I-N-K-Y, P for Peter, okay? A ring finger, when you get married, you wear a ring, so we call it ring finger, and then middle finger, and then forefinger, or sometimes index, and then thumb, thumb, okay? That part in the back here, not that, that's, uh, that's uh, like the, the back of the hand. The other side is called the palm, palm of the hand. Again, a wrist, that part is called the wrist, okay? The back of the hand and the palm of the hand on the other side, okay? And uh, uh, here in the finger, we got knuckles, knuckles. The K is silent. Knuckles, the one, two uh, knuckles in every, uh, we have like a, a knuckle, yeah, two knuckles in, in the ring finger, or two and uh, two knuckles, yes, okay, in that finger, middle finger, and in the index finger, okay, and that's called the fingernail, as you all know this, okay, or in the beauty salon, whatever, and we have index finger, as I said, some people call it forefinger or index finger, I think the Americans do, oh, thumb, thumb, okay, and wrist. We use many uh, of uh, the fingers uh, in uh, signs, like a sign language will give signs like thumbs up, thumbs down, okay, or not okay, or uh, someone gives someone, there, there's lots of expression, okay? The ring finger and the pinky, the little finger, these are the names of the fingers on the hand. Please remember them, it's important, and remember the knuckles, okay? Um, so don't forget, okay, the pinky, the ring finger, the middle finger, the index finger, and the thumb. Uh, don't forget obstetrician, gynecologist, pediatrician, cardiologist, okay, optometrist, surgeon, uh, psychiatrist, all these names, you might uh, need to know them sometime, or maybe if they are used, the complicated word, the most difficult words, okay? The rest probably would be easy, uh, okay? Prescription, what the doctor will give you. Here, remember that photo, okay, prescription, okay? All these words that we use for uh, uh, in hospital or in a clinic. Uh, uh, definitely, uh, I think the, there is, uh, as I said, we have uh, some idioms we said, we talked about them, body parts, idioms, and how we use body parts when we're talking about medical expression. Sometimes, some, sometimes body parts and medical are used in idioms and phrases. We'll try and uh, the time. There's not enough time now. It's almost half an hour. That video, so we'll mention them in another video. Okay. I covered as much as I can here. Body parts and the name of the face parts and the hands and medical expression that we use in hospitals and in the clinic or the GP. Okay. Uh, that's it for for now. And hopefully 
uh, might have, be have another uh, um, video uh, where we have a role play uh, for different cases between a doctor and a patient. That's something else, a role play or a mock meeting where uh, the students some practice, like one being a doctor and one being the patient, and they talk to each other. Uh, also, uh, uh, some idioms and phrases as well. Hopefully, we need another video. The subject is large, and I try to cover as much as possible. Okay? Uh, that's it, girls and guys, and I uh, thank you.